Hello, Fire Signs. This is Lex. I am here with your What Do You Need to Know reading. In this reading, what I'm asking for is any advice, any um, things that need to be brought to your attention, anything that you may need to refocus your attention on or be aware of of any kind. Okay. This can be related to personal, love, finance, family. However, if this does not resonate, you may want to check your moon rising or Venus signs as those sometimes resonate better. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to book an appointment or a coaching session with me, there is a link in the description to my uh, website, victoryforhope.com. All right. Let's do this. Holy Spirit, what do my fire signs need to know? Any messages for my fire signs? Let it fall. Please keep in mind that time is fluid. So whenever you watch this video is when you need this message. <laughs> I want to do another one. Okay. I did two for you because I literally just pulled this card two seconds ago for my earth signs. The fire signs is telling you that you need to be balanced. All right. Need for balance and moderation. Cooperation, cooperation and compromise waiting for perfect timing, okay? So some of you are doing too much of something, all right? You're overindulging, overworking yourself, something too much of you need to come back and balance. Also paired with that, I have the queen of water, tenderhearted, empathetic, patient, and loving she is. This is related to um, new relationships, needing to care for yourself more, okay? So with that balance, you haven't really been taking care of yourself, all right? You haven't been the, the kind, nurturing person that you have been, and you need to harness that water energy. I know that you're fire, but you need to harness that water energy, okay? Come back in balance. I'm going to do the same thing for you guys that I did for Earth Signs with that balance. That is equivalent to the Temperance card in the traditional tarot. And in this Gilded Tarot deck... The temperance card is a lady. She is um, commonly referred to as Sagittarius, the temperance card is. So that is also fire. But in the picture, she is holding two cups, one with fire, one with water as they balance each other out. And that is what you are all needing to do right now. All right, you've been doing too much action and you need to take care of yourself a little bit more. All right, did I? Oh, Lord, I overworked it, but I can't find it, so I'm not going to delay. Maybe it'll come out as I'm clarifying. So we're going to clarify this for you. Right, so I have the Queen of Wands that is also fire energy, Two of Swords, and the Magician. All right, so you all have you're out of balance because it's like you're refusing to make a move. You have the know how, you have the knowledge, the ability, the capability, and everything is is in force and in play and where they need to be for you to get back in this queen of wands energy but you're not doing it okay you need to be like this magician and make it happen all right you see he, he's got all the elements there in his hand he's got the wands the cups swords and the pinnacles whatever he wants the world to see as you see this little thing back here is is it's not the earth, but I'm going to say it is because that's how I'm, I say I see it right now. The world is his. All right. And the world is yours, fire signs. But you're not doing nothing. You can have whatever, whoever you want, but you're not doing it for some reason. Let's get another clarifier on that. Seven of Wands. This is standing up for yourself, believing in yourself, getting back to that queen energy. All right. This balance. This is a water and a fire. Two queens. You need to get back to yourself. And for my fellas out there, this, you know, just feminine and masculine energy, although there may be males watching this. 
but this is the balance between fire and water. You need to get back to that. All right, let's get you some uh, life purpose oracles. This is additional advice for you. Things coming up for you in the near future. Hmm. Get you there we go. Got you three. The card that fell out on its own is leadership. Take charge of this situation. Mm, you refusing to do anything. You have the ability to. You have all the capabilities. Everything is there. All the resources for you to make whatever changes are necessary. Whatever move is necessary. You need to do it. Take charge. Stand up for yourself. Next card I have is flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life's purpose. Okay. Some of you... Um, are outdoorsy people some of you are good with plants and flowers some of you may um do floral arrangements some of you when i was telling you to get back to the this this royalness that queen energy some of you and this magician needed you know the world being yours and, and taking charge of the situation some of you need to realize that you are who you are and if there are other people involved in this situation, they are what they are. She, I'm not sure what kind of flowers these are. It looks like uh, one's pink rose, and I'm not sure what this purple thing is. Don't get me blind. I'm not into flowers too much like that. But, you know, when these flowers were planted, they were expected to grow into this, you know, what was planted. If you plant a lily, it's not going to bloom into a rose. So if there are other people involved in this situation and you are waiting for them to change, they're not. You have to make a move and decide either you're going to move on from it completely or you're going to accept them for who they are because they're not changing. And that situation is not going to change as it concerns that person. All right. Your next card is spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, seminars, and sessions, all right? Some of you might be educators out there. <clears throat> Bravo to you, especially with this pandemic going on. I know it's been, you know, challenging for some of you. Um, I know down here, we had to do a virtual classes for the um, last couple of months of school. So um, those are my educators out there. Bravo to you. Thank you for all the time and patience and energy that you put into our youth um those of you who are uh, more uh on a more spiritual side some of you may be ministers some of you may be like spiritual healers and teachers some of you um may be in a profession of spirituality and you're just teaching other people and just spreading your knowledge to them okay all right right now what i'm doing is i'm pulling a whisper of love oracle what i'm asking for here is how to attract more love into our lives how to become more loving ourselves and how to be more loving to ourselves because we attract what we are all right so all my people out there who are already coupled up what we're wanting is for any advice on how to maintain, sustain, renew, and rekindle the love that is already existing. All right. Message from my fire signs. This is number 41. 41 goes into a 5, which is action. So let me, I'm going to hold this up and then I'm pulling it out so I can read it while you guys can see the picture, okay? Very pretty cards, these are. All right, so your card, number 41, says do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. When we focus on doing something kind for someone else, we create an opportunity for our relationships to be re-energized. What can you do today to be more considerate towards someone 
in your life. Small things can have big impacts. Imagine how amazing your life will be if you give emphasis to do kind, loving things for other people. Okay. So for those of you who haven't really been um, showing your love to the people around you, you know, those who love us, if you haven't been showing your love and appreciation to those persons, that's what the card is telling you is to do that. And that does not have to always be romantic. Just whoever is loving you, show them that you love and you appreciate everything that they do for you. Okay. All right. What I'm doing now is I'm pulling a living Reiki healing card. This is just overall advice to tie this whole thing together for you. And this is green. It says get spiritually fit. Okay, green is for health, wellness, fertility, abundance. Okay, your card says we all want to have clarity, inner strength and a sense of purpose in our lives. But like physical fitness, it can take effort and ongoing commitment. Getting spiritually fit means living authentically, being true to yourself in everything you do in your work, relationships and in leisure time. And also in making life choices from a place of courage, love, and trust instead of fear, which is really what living the Reiki way is all about. All right. So putting yourself out there, doing what you need to do and not being afraid to do so. Just like you have to nurture and take care of your physical body, you have to do the same thing with your spirit as well and your, your health. All right. Your spiritual health. All right. So fire signs i hope this resonates with you please give me a thumbs up comment if it does if it does not okay it happens check one of your um one of the other videos that has your moon rising or venus sign in it okay as those sometimes resonate with us better all right please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the link below if you would like to book an appointment all right take care